Alright, what up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Jeannie and you already know what it is. So let's just get into the energy. If you clicked on this video, you already know what you clicked into. You clicked into the word of the week and basically the word of the week is where I talk about like subjects, thoughts, downloads, whatever I'm led to talk about. And I hope it starts a conversation or you get something out of it or you can relate to it in some type of way. We can bounce ideas, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. I got to keep it quick. Uh, excuse the background noise. Yeah, I love everybody who clicked on this video and show my channel love. I love ya. All right, let's get into it. So basically, um, I'm talking about my high vibe mentality. A couple of years ago, I really had to focus in on myself, my body, my mind. Um, because I could not control the outside, but I realized that I could control myself. So I would wake up at like a certain level of high vibration. I would wake up at a certain vibe and a certain energy. And it was usually, <laughs> it was usually happy. And I was trying to see how long I can stay in that happy energy throughout the day. And I would notice things that would take me out of the energy. I would notice how long I could stay in that energy. And over time, I was able to stay in this high vibrational energy longer and longer and longer throughout the day. Um, and once I started to do that, <clears throat> and take control of myself, I started to notice the things that were triggering um, triggering me. And once I started noticing the things that were triggering me, I noticed who was doing it, where it came from, and it was usually another person. And when it was another person triggering me out of my high vibing energy, I analyzed it and I tried to figure out like what are they getting out of this exchange like what are they getting out of doing this and then I combated it by not giving them what they wanted and usually people are just haters you feel me so if people are hating on me somebody don't like me um and they do things that they think is gonna like make me sad because they don't want to basically people try to hurt you so you'll be like oh sad in their energy you'll, you'll feel me so they get to see you sad um, usually that's what haters want. So I would do the opposite. I would laugh. You feel me? Two, two, two. I would smile in the face of the people who want to hurt me. I <clears throat> forgive people. For real. People don't expect you to forgive them. They want that. They want you to be mad. They want you to build up animosity. Um, <laughs> and like really people really don't be for expecting you to forgive them. They want you to explode. Um, once I started noticing that and I deprived these demons of what they wanted, I started noticing how easy it was to just keep moving and breathing through life. Um, <clears throat> and then once I started to get that down pat, control my mind, learn my enemy's tactics, starve them of what they wanted, I noticed then that... Sorry, I'm listening to background noise. I noticed then that once I was able to control myself and I knew what people wanted from me, it was easier not to get trapped up. It was easier to spot and, and see things from a mile away and stay in a high vibration. But there's some things in our lives where we can move around and we can, you know, distract ourselves from. But there's certain things in our life that we can't escape certain things in our life that are meant to stay in our lives to teach us a certain lesson and that's when i noticed like i couldn't escape these people like i could stay in high vibration i can see it coming from a mile away i could do what i need to do but i would still get tricked up by certain people um i still couldn't get rid of certain people and certain things i noticed those type of people those type of energies those type of things usually follow you from like a past life they usually have a vendetta they usually have like i call it a, a dramatic battery pack um if you can imagine with me for a second the little battery rabbit that hits the the tangerines whatever that is uh, they hit the instrument okay and they have the drum on its back that little battery pack is what i picture like a little demonic battery pack thing that's supposed to be scary but really it's just like low vibrational entity energy you feel me it's really just an addiction um it's really just someone misguided and once i was able to see through the people who were put in my life that i could not get rid of 
I started feeling sorry for these people. <laughs> I started feeling sorry for these people. And then I realized that staying in high vibration isn't enough for these people. You feel me? Seeing the things before they happen isn't enough. So then I had to start praying for my enemies. You feel me? I had to start praying for the people who were in my life who were misguided. You feel me? Who are not awoken to whatever is making them do whatever they need to do in this lifetime to feel good okay i started praying for these people and i took on a different role instead of them becoming my enemies so i have no enemies so you can't be an enemy in me because i forgive you already uh -huh. and once i once they're not an enemy i started to look at them as like i i feel bad for them for even wanting to do something towards me and that relationship dynamic changed. And when I told them that I loved them, I had that shit. It, it, it came genuinely. I can genuinely tell somebody that has wronged me my whole life. Like, yeah, that shit was, you know, you did that. But, you know, I still love you. I pray for you. I forgive you. And I mean that. And that genuine vibration towards an enemy is like, it, it literally defeats them. Because if you love what I'm doing to you and it doesn't affect you, then everything that I'm doing is worthless. So you're basically neutralizing your enemy. And then you can start working with these people. Then you can watch this person who wants to be your enemy change around their tactics and try different ways of coming at you. Um, but at least you're helping your enemy elevate. You feel me, Lee? <laughs> At least you're helping your enemy grow. At least you help them get that little knowledge that they needed to change tactics against you and come at you a different way. Now you get to play a different game with this person who wants to be an enemy. Now you're playing with them. You're leading them. You're molding them. And it's so you can change someone who wants to be your enemy into someone who can see the obstacle inside of themselves because once you start neutralizing somebody over and over again you feel me not giving them what they want they have to sit down and like really evaluate like why am i doing this i'm um, getting nothing out of it they have to start looking at themselves and when they start looking and learning you feel me they escaped they escaped from that that control that that little demon battery pack they escape it and that and and in that way you can help Someone who wants to be your enemy into seeing the problem in themselves and changing and elevating with you. And then they become your competition. Y'all not hearing me. And then they'll become your competition because they're coming at you in ways that you need to be strong in. And if you can't get rid of this person, you need to start playing with them. Playing with them in a way that both of us are elevating. You feel me? Both of us are elevating. You're showing me the ways, the small ways that you can find to try to break my interior, break my exterior, break in to my world. You're showing me my weak points. You feel me? And I'm teaching you your weak points. And in a way, you can turn somebody who wants to be your enemy into someone who's your competition. And then it's a game. And then, instead of being at war with someone, you have now neutralized the playing field where you're just learning lessons from people. And once you learn enough lessons from your enemy, they have nothing to teach you. They have nothing to come at you. You neutralize that person and somebody who you couldn't get rid of is now someone who don't even matter. All right. I hope that makes sense. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. I hope that made sense. Let's bring it back. From the top, I had to learn how to try to stay in a high vibration as long as possible. I had to learn how to brush stuff off of my shoulders, insults, things people doing to me. I had to learn how to forgive people, move with grace, not allow people to take me out of my sunshine, even when I was depressed. There it is. I knew I was missing a point. Some some people, uh, they, they like to point out like, I love your energy, your blah, blah, blah. And I be telling people it's the Lord, okay? I be telling people it's, it's the God in me that you love. This is not me. The real me is depressed, you feel me? The real me got a lot of anxiety. The real me is insecure. The real me petty as fuck. The real me, <coughs> the real me very possessive, you feel me? The real me crazy a little bit. And, <laughs> and I had to gaslight myself 
the oh also the real me is depressive and highly depressed but i had to like gaslight myself to bring myself out of that energy i would tell myself like i'm not those things i would gaslight myself long enough i do the same process if i was feeling anxious i'd be like no you're not i would comfort myself until i wasn't feeling anxious anymore i would do that long enough to i didn't have to do it anymore and it was a natural comforting energy i taught myself how to literally gaslight myself into feeling something else <laughs> even like gaslighting myself out of depression um and then i was able to stay in this high vibration every day so i didn't i didn't just start like I didn't just start being able to wake up in a high vibration. I had to start from the bottom, start from depression. Like I went through some crazy shit in my life that nobody will ever know about. You feel me? But point is, <laughs> point is, I had to gaslight myself to even wake up happy. You feel me? I had to spend a lot of time working on my emotions, working on myself, making myself happy before I could keep that keep and maintain that vibration long enough where it's an everyday thing and then it took a process of not allowing people to be able to take that away from me so walking outside and still holding up that boundary all right and i'm still working on that um <laughs> i still struggle with that every day i'm not saying that i'm perfect in any way but i'm saying this is how i learned how to live in this life where we have enemies haters it's just is what's come with the territory um and once you start neutralizing these people you're able to walk around and play in this world like you're meant to play which is in a place of peace and balance and when you're in that peace and balance energy when you're in that happy, high vibrational energy that nobody can take from you, you're able to make better decisions. Like you're able to see things coming from all the way. You're able to have downloads and messages. You're able to trust your intuition and have faith. That was the other thing. Um, I would have a lot of anxiety about not knowing what's coming in the future. And I had to give faith and create faith in myself and in a foundation of God, trusting and knowing in myself, like I'm strong enough to, handle any motherfucking challenge and if I'm not God got me and once I created that strong foundation I was able to eliminate my anxiety about the future um, because even if anything happens to me it's meant to happen and I'm going to be well equipped to deal with whatever situation that comes to me I'm just going to accept it and with that mentality I can never lose nothing is ever an L nothing is really sad for long I can't stay mad for long I allow myself to go through this grieving process this emotional process but then I give myself uh, a time limit after three days I have to I have to start gaslighting myself, even as a, even if it's for five minutes that day of gaslighting myself into being happy. There's no way I can stay in negative energy is what I'm trying to say. And if you can find a way to break out of negative energy for long enough, you can defeat that negative energy. And once you do that, you can conquer the world because nothing that happens in this world is really going to phase you. It's just all waves. It's just all flows, different directions. All right. <clears throat> and that's when and that's when you get like real peaceful with life when you can choose a different motherfucking direction. You feel me where you create less enemies, less problems, you feel me less stress. And yeah, that's the energy I got for you for the word of the week today. I hope it resonated with you. Um this was all improv. This was all off the dome. You feel me? This was all this is all my life experience. I'm going to be 21. Oh, what the fuck? I'm, I'm going to be 27. <laughs> Look, I'm still in a 21 mindset. I'm just going to be 27, okay? This year in September. Gang, gang. I'm going to be 27 this year. And this is what I've learned in my little life, y'all. Um, how to deal with life and things I can't control. And the only thing I can control is myself. Um, basically, alright, and I, and I, probably, there's probably other people who have said the same thing in different ways, but, you know, this is the message that I got for y'all, <laughs> and the word of the week this weekend, I hope that you took something from it, I hope that you learn how to conquer your triggers, defeat your enemies, take control of your life, move and flow with the ebb and flow of life, and, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you hug someone you love today, Virgo, and I hope, not Virgo, 
everyone. I hope you look like someone that you love today and I hope it was a good day. This is the end of the day I got for y'all. If you're resonating with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, see what's coming up next for everybody. And y'all, you know, very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.